Today's New York Times has an article which says, quote, voters overwhelmingly believe American democracy is under threat, but seem remarkably apathetic about that danger. What the article explains is that people are much more concerned about the economy and also about crime. Here in Oakland, the issue of homelessness is lumped in with all of that. And all of this is giving the far-right, fascistic Republicans a much better chance of seizing control of the government at all levels from the federal on down. This is the inevitable result of the degeneration of American capitalism itself, and actually of capitalism uh, on a global scale. When, as you see that happen, society tends to break down, you have increased crime, you have increased poverty, you have homelessness, and so on. And a whole large chunk of the population in any country, under those circumstances, will tend to turn to, towards increased repression. That is, unless there is a working class movement that can um, fight for and explain an alternative to this degeneration, uh, degenerating capitalism. Here in Oakland, among, in the mayor's race, every single candidate except myself, to one extent or another, uh, makes concessions to this tendency towards increased repression. You have two of them, Ignacio de la Fuente and Peter Liu, who, support, out, who outright support repression, and all the others to one extent or another make concessions to it. That can only lead to Fortress Oakland, Fortress America, to greater poverty, and, and, uh, uh, and in a way, even more crime. The alternative is to build a working class movement and a working class political party based on socialist principles. That's what my campaign is all about. For more information, check my blog site, oaklandsocialist.com. This is John Ryman, candidate for mayor of Oakland.